This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for April 15th, 2024. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. David Lee Roth has released Scotch and Sofa on YouTube. The song's origins and the musicians are unknown. He released nearly 20 tracks over the last two years, stemming from two separate recording sessions in 2007 and 2022. He announced his retirement in late 2021 with a career-ending residency at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. However, due to unforeseen circumstances related to COVID and out of an abundance of caution for those working and attending the shows, the entire thing was canceled. The residency has yet to be rescheduled and no future plans have been released by David Lee Roth. Coachella weekend number one is wrapped up. Over the weekend, live performances were streamed on their official YouTube from a reunited No Doubt, Blur, Sublime, Vampire Weekend, Bleachers, John Baptiste, and even the Deftones who took the stage at Coachella on Friday night, delivering a 12-song set, including a cover of the Smiths, Please, 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 Let Me Get What I Want. Chino Moreno from the Deftones confirming in a backstage interview that the group is nearing completion on their next album, explaining all the music for the album is recorded, and he just needed to finish up the vocals. He said, quote, We want it to be great. I think that's most important. But it is coming, and yes, it's really good. We're really excited about what we've been working on. The album would mark the follow-up to their most recent album, Ohms, which came out in 2020. Grey Weather issued their debut album, The Soma Collective, on Friday. Alongside the video for the lead single, Parasite, marked a guest performance from Spirit Box vocalist Courtney LaPlante. The band sang, quote, a pinpoint of light in the enveloping dark, shining dimly and ever fainter. As the night threatens to swallow it whole, this release represents vast effort and perseverance. We are eternally grateful to all involved and to those that support us in every and every capacity. We want to thank you immensely and hope that you find enjoyment and solace in our work. Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden surprised fans announcing two last-minute shows at the Whiskey A Go-Go in West Hollywood this weekend. Tickets went on sale at 10 a.m. on Friday morning, and fans were surprised to find out that it was Bruce Dickinson himself manning the box office. Dickinson saying, quote, as we're holed up in our North Hollywood rehearsal studio preparing for our tour, we thought that since rehearsals were going so well, maybe we should have a little fun and do something last minute here in L.A. Parrotheads gathered at the Hollywood Bowl in tribute to Jimmy Buffett. The star-studded concert began with Paul McCartney saying, good evening, Hollywood fucking bowl. The All-Star Concert featured appearances from the Coral Reefer Band, Kenny Chesney, Zach Brown, Brandi Carlisle, Dave Grohl, Snoop Dogg, Sheryl Crow, John Bon Jovi, The Eagles, and more. Slash from Guns N' Roses is getting ready to release his upcoming blues album, Orgy of the Damned, on May 17th. On Friday, he released another song from the album, a cover of Fleetwood Mac's Oh Well featuring Chris Stapleton. Slash saying, quote, this is the original Fleetwood Mac, which was founded by Peter Green, one of the greatest singer-songwriter guitar players. He's less known in public, but very well known to us guitar players. Regarding the 60s British blues, he's right up there with Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Nick Taylor. Slash and his partnership with Gibson also announced last week they're issuing a signature series Slash guitar known as the Jessica Les Paul. The famed guitar he used recording Appetite for Destruction and that he uses performing the songs live, saying that he burned a hole in it by accident with a cigarette and that he named it Jessica while drunk and still doesn't remember why. His new blues tour, The Serpent Festival, is set to hit the road later this summer with the Warren Haynes Band, Keb Moe, Larkin Poe, Chris Stone, Kingfish Ingram, Samantha Fish, ZZ Ward, Robert Randolph, Eric Gales, and Jackie Venson. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 201 featuring Ash Costello from New Year's Day is available now.